hi you guys welcome back to another video so today i have some mac and cheese hot peppers and some honey um hot honey tenders i made in the air fryer with ranch drizzled on top and to drink a zero sugar peach iced tea i see that iced tea it is a zero sugar lipton peach iced tea where did it come from where did that tea come from? That was not in the uh, grocery hall from the food shelter. Uh, we haven't seen that come into the house. What delivery order did she get that tea with? And she's showing us fucking box mac and cheese and some dino nuggies from the air fryer. That came from takeout food. That was not purchased. Mm -hmm. I see you, biche. Oh, no. You think it's not? It's not less disgusting. It's worse with all the white sauce. Ow. Uh, KMB Stitches, thank you for the super chat. That slurping was unreal. I, I, how do you slurp spaghetti so hard and keep every bite? You got to make the face of a donkey? The fuck is wrong with you, man? Uh, B Salt, thank you for the super chat. Whenever she shames you for not having a period, I just wonder. That was so weird. Uh, how is that an insult? I'm young and 120 pounds, but I don't get a period due to medical reasons. She's a hater of all women and it's vile. I totally agree. And I mean, like, yeah, I guess it's possible that I also didn't have a period. It's just statistically speaking, it was a very, very weird thing to say to a 37 year old woman, because statistically, and I am in the statistic, I, of course, still have my period. You know what I mean? That was her just projecting so hard, because if she doesn't have a period, then nobody has a period. She probably thinks we've all had hysterectomies because that's the normal thing that everybody goes through or something. You know what I mean? It was just such a weird, weird thing to say. Bismillah. All right, let's get to, let's get to, let's try this. This is, um, I guess the only version of like craft dinner or like box mac and cheese I could find. Um, let me try it. Beauty bite. Mmm. It tastes like um sidekicks. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try these tenders. Bite for you. Bite for you guys. Oh god, why is it so crunchy? <laughs> it's not even, it can't be that crunchy. It's the microphone on the table. That mac and cheese looks disgusting. That looks like you went to cook some fucking uh, craft dinner and you fell asleep while the noodles were cooking and you woke up and you're like, oh shit, my noodles. And now they're all completely overboiled because they've been cooking for 45 minutes and you're like, fuck it, I'm cooking it anyway. That's what that looks like to me. Disgusting. Foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. Salad spat on her tender loins. Salad won't go anywhere near her tender loins or waste his spit on them. Just... Oh, he wants nothing to do with her tender loins, and her loins ain't tender. <laughs> She's got the old boiling loins, <laughs> fucking weirdo. Oh, God, it's fuck shit time. The, the cats are playing with their toys and meowing. Forgive them. Lisa Bear, thank you again for the super chat. I'm convinced Chantal is in love with you, Frenchie. Lock your door. I mean, I don't know if it's a love thing as much as a wanting to wear me as an outfit thing. Fucking weird bitch. How do you lick every fucking finger on your fat talon, but you don't lick the, the sauce off of your face? Or is that being done on purpose? Don't answer. It's probably on purpose. Ugh, gross. Oh, Ismay, thank you for the super chat. That's peel off mac and cheese hybrid, right? It kind of, yeah, that's the vibe it gives. Just disgusting. How embarrassing. Do you think Salad watches this shit? Absolutely not. Absolutely. Why would he watch this? she's already his boner killer. He doesn't need to make it any worse. The sauce makes them a bit less crunchy, but basically what I did was air fried them. 
Oh, God. Okay, I have to make a comment here. <laughs> this is about the community. Uh, listen, I understand how disgusting the mukbangs are. Listen, if this wasn't my channel, I would fucking be out. To people dipping during this mukbang era, I feel you. I respect it. I get where you're coming from. If you, however, are somebody who every week declares on fucking Twitter that that's it, I'm out, that's it, I'm out, every goddamn week, and it's years now, and every week you're out, sh just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. As Koki would say, shut up and leave. Like, I'm so sick to death of these people. Every week they're fucking out. But then later on in the day, they're fucking tweeting Chantal shit. They're still watching this shit. Just somebody randomly will be tweet like I can't watch these mukbangs and so that they can go yeah you know what I know like f just just fucking leave no one fucking cares it's so annoying <laughs> I've got a couple of people specific in my mind and like bitch I, I'm, I'm fucking I don't even want to mute you I, I'm not that passive aggressive I'm aggressive I'm gonna just fucking unfollow you because I'm sick to death of hearing every week how you're out go man go Foodie Beauty's housewife, thank you for the super chat. I would be, oh God. Hey, Jeff Cheese, fuck man, I hate you. This is bullying, you're blocked. Nee Marie, thank you for the super chat. I think Salad's celebrating pride somewhere living his best game. He could be. And if that's the case, good luck, but something tells me that's not the case in Kuwait. But if he's doing it, you know, quietly somewhere and discreet, good for him, live your best life. Lucy Jane, thank you for the super chat. Yes, the cats are squeaking. It's fuck shit time, you know. Toss them in some red rooster sauce and some honey. Oh, that's cold. And voila. Drizzle ranch. Now this mac and cheese is different than the box of... Okay, um, here's another one. Why does she keep referring to hot sauce as red rooster? This is a few weeks now. I, I'm noticing she keeps bringing up Red Rooster. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Red Rooster like the hot sauce from a very specific city in the States or something where it's very popular and I, I don't know, it's like St. Louis or something. It's something like that. We don't have fucking Red Rooster here. If you find Red Rooster, it's hella expensive because it's hard to find here. It's not, you know, who, who Canadian just comes out with Red Rooster constantly? Who did you steal this from, too? Somebody must love Red Rooster and talks about it a lot on the internet. And so now she has stolen their thing, too. Cherry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. This is a form of torture. I agree with you, Bish. Tater Tough Fluff. Uh, tater Tough ta Fluff. What? <laughs> tater Fluff Pondu. Thank you for the super chat. Use online pay services. Add wire fraud to Red Rum. I mean, could be. Craft dinner like I'm used to in Canada. Um, this one comes with the powder cheese mixed in with the noodles. So you have to like bring a cup of water and 100 milliliters of milk and 10 grams of butter to a boil. Oh, Rooster Brand. No, Red Rooster is not Sriracha. Rooster Brand is Sriracha. Is that what she's talking about? Because Red Rooster is a brand of hot sauce from the States. One of you guys had sent me a bottle. Um, oh my God, I want to say it's like three years ago. I just can't remember what city it was from. And it was specifically like, oh, this is the hot, hot sauce from this city. It's like Louisiana hot sauce. I think you guys are right. She's talking about like rooster brand. She's talking about Sriracha. Why can't she just call it Sriracha? Red rooster is from Louisiana. Okay. It's Louisiana. Red rooster is a Louisiana style hot sauce. Okay, that makes sense because I love Louisiana style hot sauce. I must have mentioned that, and that's why one of y'all sent it to me. Makes total sense. Okay, and she's talking about sriracha, rooster sauce, rooster bread, not red rooster. Oh, thanks for clearing that up though. She's been driving me nuts with that. Tamara, thank you for the super chat, girl. Long time silent supporter here to thank you for saying the truth about our girl. Well, thank you so much for stepping out of the shadows. I appreciate it. Sriracha does have a picture of the rooster. Yes, Sriracha has a picture of the rooster on it. It's rooster brand. It's not red rooster. Those are two different things. I didn't measure that, by the way. I just kind of <laughs> eyeballed it. 
Mm. And then you just like, takes like five minutes to cook. <laughs> mm. No, Jessica, this one is not salads drink. This is an actual Lipton iced tea zero. This would be for her. In the live stream, or the live stream, the video that we just watched, her eating that spaghetti, she was drinking his full sugar Kinza black cherry, I believe, or something, black currant soda. And when they did the, when they did, when she did the grocery haul from the food bank, specifically said that those were for him because they're full sugar. I'm never ordering chicken tenders because... Honestly, Kuwait has some really good quality frozen ones. Um, this is Sadia brand. Real chicken. What? Polka Dot Livingston. Thank you for the super chat. FFG, we used to chat together on Jet Austin and Sabine Davis's live streams. Is that you and Chantal? It can't be you and me. I don't even know who Jet Austin and Sabine Davis are. I've certainly never watched one of their live streams. I guess you mean you and Chantal? I'm confused. I've never said I'm out, but I am now. <laughs> okay, bye. Chicken. Mm. Okay, no. <laughs> no, we didn't. I don't know who those people are. I've certainly never been in their live stream, unfortunately. Uh, Basement Baby, thank you for the super chat. The frozen tenders are so fresh. Oh my God, it's the best chicken. It's the quality of the chicken you get in these frozen fucking tenders from the food pantry. And you can add your own sauces, so. Mm. The sauce tastes just like the sauce I used to get at, like, Wild Wings. That's so good. No, it's not. Stop trying to convince us that nuggets and fucking overcooked mac and cheese are so good. God, you're also drinking the worst flavor possible of Lipton tea. So good. I love those cans of Lipton. Oh, they are so, they're so good. Not the ones that they sell here, but specifically the ones from like the Middle East and they have them in North Africa. And they sell them in France too, but it's with the Arabic writing on them. Those are the, I'm, I'm a real lover of iced tea and those are the best fucking iced tea in the whole world. And then there's peach. Of all the flavors, they make a watermelon one. It is the best drink I've ever had in my life. You pick peach. You can't even pick an iced tea properly useless. La Bella, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. No diner, no nuggies. He's going to be mad. She's eating all the nugs again. Baby boy, David, thank you again for the super chat. Maybe because I'm autistic, but I cannot stand her eating with the big spoon. The, the big spoon, I think, is also for feeders. That's a that's a thing with the mukbangs. You know, like sometimes they put in the titles and things like big bites for big assholes who pay for this big nasty. NMO8, thank you for the super chat. Who is this lady? <laughs> Some fat fuck from Canada wearing a hijab on the other side of the world. Oh, Jesus. It's also cheaper to make your own. Like. Yeah. 
get a whole big bag of good quality chicken tenders. For under 10 bucks. Fucking chicken tender. Make sure you get the good quality chicken tenders. They must be fresh. They must be from Kuwait because whatever's in the F Kuwait freezer is better than whatever's in your freezer. Fresh. But remember, just the other day, it's the West that has all the ultra processed food, you guys. She just can't with all the ultra processed food, you guys. Mac, a woman with nothing but time all day, right? Uh, one of the simplest things to do is to bread your own fucking chicken tenders to make yourself some very simple mac and cheese or to brew yourself an iced tea. Can't be fucked. Too busy. Too much going on. Uh -huh. Face me, baby. Thank you for the super chat. Or get chicken tenders one time at like Raising Cane's for like more than 10 bucks. <laughs> Yes, she will. She probably will. Matt has been mentioned. Let me mention something else, Watermelon, to double down on that. Uh, tonight after the stream, I'm going to be making lime watermelon agua fresca. It's going to be so fresh and refreshing and satiating and delicious. <laughs> to watch tomorrow, she'll have a glass of watermelon juice or something. Wait. It just makes more sense, though. I said it and I meant it. When you can get good quality ones. If she says good quality chicken nugget again, I don't know what I'm going to do because that would lose me my channel. But it's a fucking frozen chicken nugget. Shut the fuck up. Good quality. What does that mean? White meat? Like, girl, shut up. Nee Marie, thank you again for the Super Chat. Cheapest box mac and cheese crap ever. So gross with the powdered cheese, right? That's not. That's not even craft. Listen, once a year... I like my box of craft dinner. Like it hits once a year. And after you take three bites, you're like, oh yeah, I don't want this again. And it's a year until I have another one. But it's got to be the real KD. It does. It, it just tastes different. It does. These like knockoff shitty ones. Like, I don't know. I'm looking at that one. It doesn't even look as good as KD. And that's saying something because KD looks disgusting, you know? Ugh. But I guess, again, at the food bank, you, you can't be choosy. You take what they give. Toki, thank you for the super chat. Why sometimes hands, sometimes a utensil? That's a, that's a really good question. I don't know because I'm not crazy. I can't step into that mind and try and decipher that one. But it's a great, a, a great question. Maybe certain things she knows will come across on camera as more disgusting if she eats them without the utensil. And that's clearly what she's going for now. Angus the Pangus, thank you for the super chat. Genuinely think salad supports... The feeder content because he knows it's lucrative. More proof he doesn't love her. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, she if if she tells uh, she tells him, oh, I can make more money like that. He's like, okay. He couldn't fucking care less. Just just make some money. Velveeta with shells is fire. Oh, oh, Velveeta. Bleh. Addicted to cold brew. Thank you for the super chat. What is the new? I hope I made you hungry. Ish. Ugh. It's for the feeders. I hope I made you hungry means like, I, I hope I made your dick move. Mm -hmm. Foodie and beauty, thank you again for the super chat. No, I do not. Mm. The mac and cheese is a bit dry, but it's still good. By the way, this is my my table there's a leg loose of course there's a leg loose you're constantly dragging that piece of shit low quality table from the wall to the middle of the room to the wall to the middle of the room and then you sit there eating with your gunt like leaning on the table it's not made of steel bitch and every time it moves it creaks Wait, wait. PC mac and cheese. Are you talking about President's Choice? 
I'm sorry, as a Canadian, PC means president's choice to me. I'm going to assume that's what you're um, talking about and say that, yes, when I say the knockoff of anything, I don't mean president's choice. President's choice is the exception to the knockoff rule. It's better than most of the brand stuff. However, I'm on the boycott, so fucking Galen Weston and all of Loblaws can eat my shit for all I care for now. Brooke, thank you for the super chat. Jimmy. Mm. I forgot about the suitcase. I don't know. Oh my God, everybody always peel for the suitcase. Let's see. Madame Mido, thank you for the super chat. Watching her eat is like watching a pimple popping video for me. Makes me dry heave and want to take a shower after. Well, okay, fair. Bees and let bees. I love those pimple popping videos. That's my happy place. It's how I calm myself down at the end of the night and stuff. I live for that sick shit. I'm gross. But this, never. <sighs> the zero sugar iced tea, I find tastes so much better than the like zero sugar soda. You guys, I'm not exaggerating. These are so delicious. You can use any vinegary based hot sauce and like any honey. You just taught people how to make hot honey? Like any hot sauce and like any honey. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, okay. What's going to end these mukbangs? I need them to end again, even if only temporarily. What's going to end this? What's it going to take, Chantal? Get outside and do something, you fat, useless fuck. This is stupid. And not because I give two shits about your health. I really do not at all. Like at all at all. If anything, I, I sit back with a sick smile on my face watching you slowly live the consequences of all your actions and your karma. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, for the content, for the show, what's it going to take to end this shit? Kimberly, thank you for the super chat. I agree with what I've heard before. Salad is her feeder pimp. Ugh. Ugh. Feeder pimp. Just like, ugh. it brings the vomit up to my throat. Oh my God. Feeder pimp. Ashley, thank you for the super sticker girl. Whew. Spice. <gasps> she's searching her mind for something to say, and she's got absolutely nothing. God damn it, man. This is so bad. You think she's doing these videos to spite me? Because I hate the... I don't think so. If it were like one... Yeah, okay. Fine. There, look. There. Last bite. This perfect spot. Yeah, if it was like one video she had made like this, I would be like, yeah, she's doing this because she knows I'm grossed out. It, she's made too much of like an investment in this. Stop rolling your big fat head back. Oh God. And she can only roll it back so far because she's got the back of hot dogs at the back of her neck, blocking her for rolling her head back any further. Closing your eyes, acting like that wasn't just a, fro a frozen nugget with some fucking honey on it. Now licking every finger, thinking that this is attractive and that this is sexual and that you are actually more attractive than 90% of the internet. When in reality, you've probably just made a bunch of men switch over and start playing for the other team and made everybody question what the fuck that they do every day on the internet. You are the, <laughs> the most disgusting thing that I have ever seen in every way that you can be disgusting. Cave lady. Thank you for the super chat. 
Is she less intelligent than she used to be? Well, I mean, listen, all of those months of all of those drugs, there has to be some kind of effect on the brain. All of those drugs? Mm hmm mm hmm The sauce is not good. Oh. Well, why are you wasting it? There's still some sauce. Pick up the plate and lick it. Lick it like the animal that you are. My dogs would lick it. Why don't you lick it? Nee Marie, thank you for the super chat. Maybe try some reverse psychology. I, I, I can't do that. I'm not that good of an actress. God damn it. Can you imagine? I'm like, ooh, yeah. Make more food. That's all you're going to eat? Delicious. Ugh. I'm not that fake. I can't do it. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fat brain just uh, took me out. Eating like this affects the brain even worse. Look up fat brain. It is damaged brain. I'm going to write down fat brain. That's going to be tomorrow's thumbnail. Thank you, Gourley Pop. There's something so refreshing about iced tea, especially in the summer. I love it. Ooh, I'm just in my PJs. I'm not. Well, why don't you make some iced tea? Literally the easiest fucking thing you can make for yourself. And then you control the sugar and you put in the Splenda or whatever, whatever is your weapon of choice. Okay. The easiest thing to make for yourself and homebrewed iced tea is the bomb. Nothing beats it in a can. Come on. Like done up, nothing. I'm just too tired, <laughs> too tired today. But you know, some days you just don't feel like putting, like getting all done up, putting something nice on, whatever. So I just. When have you ever been done up or had something nice on? You put lipstick on the pig that you are, and I don't know, find some non stinking, dirty thing to put on and. Make your content, aka eat your fucking meal online. Um, that whole like not, just not wanting to do it, wanting to kind of get up, stay in your pajamas all day, fucking roll around. You know what I mean? To me, that's Saturday vibes. <laughs> that's me on a Saturday. I wake up on a Saturday. I don't want to do shit. I just want the coffees to keep on coming. I want to sit back and watch a little TV, stay in the pajamas, in the comfort zone, no bra for as many hours as I can because it's after the week. You just finished the week. It's the first day of the week that you're not fucking running in the. Uh, <laughs> how can you be so like, oh, I'm just so exhausted. I want to stay in my pajamas. But, but, but when that's your everyday life. Just have my, my pajamas on. My PJs. <laughs> and I'm just lounging around. Made a yummy lunch, which I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And I hope you ate with me. And I hope you had something delicious. And I hope it made you hungry. So anyways. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. You really think that anybody watching you siphon down those frozen nuggets got hungry? I hope it made you hungry. Even if it would have made someone hungry, watching you lick all your fingers and all the sounds and stuff, you took away my food boner and I'm a fatty. That's something. Del, thank you for the super chat. Betus affects cognitive function. She's cooked. Oh, no. See, this is why you never do drugs, kids, because you never know one day you could turn out to be a fatty and you'll have the fat brain and then you'll have the drug brain damage combined with the fat brain damage. You're absolutely fucked.